Okay. All right, we made it to floor two, my friends. We did it. We made it to floor two. So we can do an upgrade. Can we do an excavation upgrade? I would need to sacrifice a bone golem. Which I don't have the skulls to make a bone golem. Wish bone golems weren't so expensive. Uh, actually, I can do a different one. I, uh, but I can't unlock it because it's the ghoul that I haven't unlocked. Okay. I, they Looks like they gated that that way on purpose. Rude. So, um... What else would be useful to get? Extra artifacts, maybe? Um... Extra Aratus experience, possibly. Sacrifice a vampire or a uh, lich. Can I get a vampire? I'll get a lich. i using my last skull. I don't like that. Lost soul uses a lot of stuff. Oh, you all use too much stuff. Uh, where's the Wrath one? Maybe, uh... I'm not even using my Wrath with this build. With these characters, I don't use my Wrath that much. I feel like I sh I mean, I kind of do with the Shade occasionally. So, Mummy or Lost Soul. Maybe for extra artifacts. Can I do a Mummy or a Lost Soul? I can do a Mummy. Using my last skull again, though. Using a blue skull to sacrifice. I do not like that. I can't do it. Let's. I, I think. I hate to waste a turn of upgrading something, but I feel like it's not worth the parts that I'm missing or that I would be using for that. So. Alright, it's only three guys. None of them are leaked for the first fight, so do I. I'll get a non consumable artifact if I do that. Let's go, let's go ahead and use that. Alrighty, against dwarves, you actually don't want to make them insane, so this build is pretty good as a not killing dwarf build. So I believe we want to. At the beginning of each action, suffers a 30 stress damage every 10 cent loss, gains one attack, so yeah. We don't actually want to stress them out, so I want them to actually have less accuracy. Not do the stress stuff. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to haste. Damn. Speed of thought. Okay. All right. Do we get our stuff up? Let's go ahead and get our blocks up. Yeah. Okay, and let us focus down the. Let's focus down the guy who's got buffs on him. So let's get rid of your luck. Nice, nice. And that just moves you forward and gives you uh, buffs. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. Move you guys in and out to do percent health damage, which is great. If I move you back, that will do damage to him. Okay. Beautiful. Nice little combo there. Do the same thing. Oh, unless he... Unless we miss. Frickin' hell. So that should do percent health damage to him. Cool. All right, you lost your block, bro. Hey, good block. Good block. All right, well, we lost all our block already. Okay. Put me in there again. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let's see, 39 health. Do I try to kill you or do I get my blocks up? Let's just, again, let's not, not 
try to play this too fast. We kill people, then we recover. Stop frenzying. It hurts. Okay. Oh wait, no, it's not nice. Berserk is bad. Let's get our speed up. Speed of thought. Um, okay, so Gloom Talons will kill you 100%. Trap won't. But trap will be better. Let's see, how much health you have? 15? We're going to kill you with another character, so let's go ahead and do this. I can get the kill now. Uh, I don't want to do it. I'm going to get rid of his things. Let's go ahead and just do this. Ashes to ashes. As long as Dust we don't miss, we're good. All right. Then we pull you forward into this thing. Set it for hopefully lethal on our other guy. We finish him. Finish him. Nice! All right. Yeah, don't get too cocky, Rand. There are only three guys, and none of them were elites. And we're going to be fighting a bunch of freaking elites, so... All right, time for recovery time. Time for recovery time. Okay, you're full health. We need these guys to heal. While our uh, mummy gets rid of his blocks. fill up on mana with our uh, guy. Although I don't have to fill up full on mana if I don't want to because we do get a little bit of mana with our upgrade thing. So that's another reason why if you use a group like this, you don't actually need to do that. Right there, we're full on mana. So I could use mana if I want. Alright, so if I do self-heal on one of these guys, yeah, if I do self-heal on you... We can finish this guy and be good, I'm thinking. Yeah, we got lots of attacks here. Alright. Full on mana. This will do a little bit of damage. Okay, alright. Look at all that golden treasure behind them. Okay. Alrighty, let's look at what this floor looks like. Any sacrificial things? There's one sacrificial thing over here on the left and one on the right. Um, we've got a heal going either direction. Seems pretty similar here. Which way do I want to go? Probably the left gives me more fights, which is better. More fights for more level ups, possibly. I think we'll go left. Um, did I get enough parts to create stuff? Yes, I can create a headhunter. So what uh, what upgrade did I want to do? Not that one. I really want to be able to get more parts. If parts can become more parts, a bone guy would be worth doing, but I can't. What am I missing? I'm missing a skull. So if I turned bones into one skull, I would use all of my bones and all of my skulls. What what turns into a skull? Skull is um, to ashes. Okay, so that would be all of my ashes for that. All right, let's just wait if I can get something else upgraded. Mummy uses skulls. So many of these things use the same parts that I want. So can I do shade or lost soul without using the parts I need? Shade uses all of my ashes. Lost soul uses a skull. I think I might be okay with using all of my ashes, right? Is there a high level one? Yeah, we'll do this. I'd like to have a backup shade. Mortis. Go ahead and do this, get ourselves a chance at more. More artifacts. Right, 
So I need somebody to put in there. So let's just make a somebody that doesn't use a skull. Yeah, we'll do a zombie. Don't use high level stuff if I can avoid it. Green weapon. Oh, is that my last blood? Alright, it's fine. Spend parts to get stuff. That's what we're trying to do right now. Spend parts to get parts. Okay. So let's do, I guess, bigger heal is what we did for you. Okay, what did we get? Enemy loses 30 luck until the battle ends. Or do I want to keep getting more experience? 10 experience. I feel like the higher I go, the less value that is. So I think I will do that, maybe. Minions gain one block, one ward, but their initiative is reduced to zero. Don't like that. Critical hit gives XP. Non-consumable artifact. Okay, let's do that again. Ah, okay, I would like to upgrade these guys' parts, but my god, we're just not getting enough parts. Did I, um, maximize all my part gain with Architect Souls, which I don't need any more of. Amount of Wrath. Increase Vigory Recovery Rate. What's up, Cthulhu? How are you doing, sir? No idea what you just said. <laughs> Target on fire. 35 to 45 stress damage. Mission effects, no. Who's luck gains attack dread? No. Misses with attack gain wrath. I'm usually maxed out on wrath. So I feel like uh, mana stuff is what I should get. Two positions forward. 20 stress damage to the target. Banshee upgrade. Next attack will be critical hits. Not bad. Wraiths get extra block and ward is not bad too. Might not be a bad one to go for as well. Let me go for Spells, this here. Hexes, curses, all are at my command. What do you usually say? Ah, uh, I don't know. What do you usually say? You say things in languages I don't understand most of the time. Okay, I think we're gonna go left here. Um, something about Path of Exiles next league? I don't know. That would be my guess. Hey, no elites in this fight. Interesting. All right, we got to take our last break after this fight here. Anyway, you're doing fine. Oh, you usually say something in response to me asking, how are you doing? Okay. Uh, just did or don't remember. All right. Two berserkers, so we don't want to stress them out. This guy does AoE stuff, so I probably want to kill him first. Let's go ahead and get our uh, speed, of speed up. You asked how I was doing. Oh, is that what Terek Quislet means? Okay, I think I want to... Let's see here. Let's do that there. This guy in the front we want to kill last for sure. Let's get our blocks up. Get all the blocks. But yes, I'm doing fine, my friend. I'm doing fine. Raging about Eratus, Lord of the Dead. Just another normal day in a ran stream. Double frickin' crit. Are you kidding me? God damn, man. Bypass my two blocks, so I just freaking double crit me with that bullshit. Okay. Um, Alright, so we want to keep pulling these guys into this, so that's what we're going to do. Pretty much, hi, how are you is what that is. Okay. Cool. I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. I'm super. Thanks for asking. All things considered, couldn't be better. How are you? Okay. Cool. Great miss. All right, uh, I think we want to focus this guy down. Yeah, for sure. We can 
heal after we... We can heal after we kill. Nice. And that should move him in. And, okay, got rid of his ward. Okay, nice miss. Beautiful counterattack. There's our block. All right, I'm going to heal with these guys this time. If you guys are so low, would you just go ahead and die already? Um... 80% of the sanity the target's missing. You're missing 50. I think that's lethal on you. Not 100% sure. I'm going to give this a try. I think it might be lethal. Nice! Get blasted. Yes, yeah, so easy. I tend to nab actual common greeting phrases, so it's either hi, how are you, or peace be upon you in 99% of the cases. Ah, peace be with you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this. Finish him off. We'll just start doing recoveries. Nice. Thank you for not missing or getting blocked. Appreciate that. Okay. We're going to have you heal. We'll get block up on you next. Okay, now percentage damage is going to be huge. Whenever an ally takes targeted damage, remove all debuffs from them, restore 20 sanity, increase initiative. Okay. So we need to target you now. The question is going to be... Oh, I don't know if the trap is considered targeted damage. I think it's not considered targeted damage. Okay, wait. No, you need to not do that. So we can just do... Let's see if this says as much as 30. No, so the other one's better. Unless I'm lower health. I'm so surprised that smoke does so much damage to me. Rude. <laughs> Don't be smoking in my face. That is not allowed. Smoking is not allowed here. Right, since we have so much mana, let's just give ourselves speed. speed. Nice. Okay, so you will do more damage for... more damage you have taken. So let's see if this does more than 30. Nice. Well, a crit. So I don't know if it did more than it normally would have or not. Damn. I want to finish this guy and then we'll start doing our recovery. Nice. Seven health left. Damn, he's going to get one more attack. He's like, you go forward. I'm going to move back here. And then, ow, there's a trap. All right. So um, this should finish him. It doesn't act yeah. miss, so beautiful. Delivered. Death delivered. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Healed up while you get rid of his stuff. I maybe should have done the block first there. Get rid of his guards. guards. Oh, if I crit, you don't get to block. Very nice. Ow! Very nice when uh, my enemies do not have elites. If they don't have elites, we actually seem to have a chance occasionally. Is that a crit heal? That was a big heal. Okay, get rid of your blocks. I think this guy does only single target or single uh, single attacks there. Just got back from town. Have I died? Also, what's the status of the SE server? Oh my gosh, okay. Lots of questions. No SC server yet. Um, that's the status. Um, uh, you have not... Did you die? I did lose a Necromancer. You might have died, actually. I think you might have died. We had a, we had a fight where we couldn't use this big OP group, and we got kind of wrecked. Carve open their husks. Oh, you were a Shade. Well, then, you're alive, I think. 
Uh, I think you are not this guy, but I think you're the other guy. So I think you are still alive. You're just you're in the recovery bin, I believe. Is this Darkest Dungeon as the bad guys? Yes, Rada. That's exactly what this is. Game is. I would I would uh, classify it as. And uh, at least in the difficulty I'm playing, just about as Mark challenging. Maybe not quite as challenging. Or I punishing, I should say. Rib cage armor. Fertilizer. But yeah, some guy, you were just, uh, you were leveling up, I believe, in the in this thing. Okay, I need to actually heal you. So that mummy got healed, so I'm going to swap you guys out. Um, so let's level you up to get... I meant to get this one, yeah. My enemies that one. are in for a nasty surprise. Some guy, you get to go heal so we can use a next next use you next fight. Uh, block and ward. I'm going to actually not do that many upgrades because I don't know exactly what I want to do with you. This zombie's just been leveling up, hanging out in the arena the whole, whole time. You always play as undead or more factions? Uh, you always play as the undead, but the undead have a bunch of different types of minions that some are not exactly undead. Like there's vampires and spider black widow people and that kind of stuff. All right, so I could do a bone golem to sacrifice, which I do want to do. I'm going to use two low-level skulls. I'm going to do this so that we can get even more parts. Brick by brick. Go. The last one costs 80. So I need somebody to go in there. So I just need to build something. Um, armor weapons. I have a lot of blood. I have flesh. So this is probably my best, best choice here. All right. Dig me up some extra parts. That's what I need now. Okay. All righty. Uh, what do we get? We got some artifacts. We got 24 wrath at the beginning of the battle. Minions gain four armor until battle ends. Ooh, extra armor I like. Do I like random enemy having less luck, or my characters have four extra armor? Minus luck's pretty darn good. Keeps them from critting, but it's a random thing. So having all of my minions take four less damage per attack is probably worth. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more Wrath than the beginning of battle or parts drop. No, I just want more parts. Later on, we'll swap that in. All enemies gain 20 vigor until the battle ends. The Ratus gain six additional common parts after victory, one time use. Ooh. All right, extra parts. They get extra health, which kind of sucks, but trade off. Do you use your minions to build? That's interesting. You do. You get parts from fights and you build your minions from those parts. You can also turn those parts into items and a bunch of other stuff. So, there's a. Uh, there's more um, flexibility in getting new units in this game. Right, let's get a Frost guy. I don't know if I'll ever use him, but I like the idea of this guy. I like the idea of this guy. Winter is coming, and it's cold! Is there anywhere I can place you? I wonder if I can sacrifice you anywhere that's useful. Wow, is there really no place for the uh, unfrozen to be sacrificed? Now that's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I could throw him. You know what? I want him to be leveling up over this guy. So. Your minions are focused on the dead undead, and that's things typically associated with darkness. Yes. That is definitely the case. All right, what do we got? No elites. All right, I'm happy about that, but I'm also confused because I thought on this difficulty I was always going to fight elites at least one every battle, but I guess it's still got some randomness going on. 
Oh, I meant to take a break. All right, real quick, my friends, before we start this battle, I'm gonna start this restroom. Thank y'all so much for watching. So anybody in the stream, hope you're enjoying the Arachis story of the Dead. I'll quick, uh, play a quick 60 seconds worth of ads when I come back. We will uh, see how far we get in this run. Thanks for hanging out, y'all rock. I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty. So what do we got? No. Oh, we got this uh, geomancer dude in the back. Okay. All right, I think we always focus down the berserker first because the longer they're alive, the worse off we are. So let's give ourselves speed. Speed of thought. And uh, getting this deep shadows trap thing is very good to start. So. That here because that is percent health damage, which is can't do more percent than percentage from full, I guess. Okay, so let's get our awards up. We don't, I mean, our blocks, we don't have awards for the Geomancer, so I think all his stuff is magic damage. Nice, good hit. Oh, okay, and that absorbed his ward, not bad. Okay, let's get our block on you. Ow. Jesus. That freaking crit me? Are you kidding? Holy crap, that's ridiculous. All right, do you want them to take stress damage? We are going to take physical damage. We're, you know what? We're going to do this. Focus on this guy. This will actually be pretty useful for him to finish them off with his magic thing. Oh, damn. Well, okay then. So I can't target these guys now. And now if they do damage and I counterattack, I wonder if he's going to counter right back. Which kind of suck. I need to get him out of his stance. Hopefully this will pull him out of his stance. Please work. God damn. Damn it, man. Well, he would have blocked it anyway, but still. I can't hit him in the back row. My guys. Okay. Ow. Do you do your counterattack to him? You should. Okay, he didn't do the counter. I have no idea why the hell not. Okay, great. Thanks, game. So 80% of your missing sanity. You're missing 50. That wouldn't be that much. He only countered physical damage. I thought it was 100% of damage taken, but... 
Maybe, maybe, maybe that's how it works. Okay. I actually can't do anything from here. I need to move backwards. I have no debuffs to remove. I really hate this guy's conditional heal. It's just kind of worthless. It's like you never get debuffs. They just do damage. Okay, so this will move me forward. I'm going to take a counterattack if I do this. Do I take the counterattack? How much damage do I take? Move all buffs from them, restore 20 sanity, increase initiative. Oh, actually, I want him to get sanity back. So I think I'm okay with that. It's not a counterattack. Just gives him sanity. This does give him speed. It's the only bad thing. Gave him speed, but we are in good shape to kill him soon now. 29 to 30. Uh, let's see here. Let's get some speed again. Speed Painful fall. dwarves. Wait, oops, shouldn't say that name. Dwarvi Dwarvius? I don't, I don't know that name. Okay. I don't think that initiative stacks. Maybe it does, but I do want to kill him. Yeah, give him sanity. He's like, stop taking away my sanity. I'm trying to berserk. God damn it, man. Just... Ugh. I might lose my shade right now. Some guy, you might be about to die. You actually might be about to die. Strength through pain. I try to keep you alive. Oh, nice. That guy just took damage from that. Just ridiculous amounts of damage these, this fucking guy in the back does. All right, I need to kill him. And I can't reach him. Friend name that does the YTs. If I say the actual name, you'd get Pope. Friend of yours that does the YouTubes? I wouldn't get mad if you mentioned a friend who does YouTube, but that's fine. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, you actually do need to heal. Although I want to... God damn, I want to... We're going to pull that guy forward. Hopefully he won't be able to do his big attack from the very back. You know me. I don't get mad when, when you mention other streamers and people you like. Uh, other streamers and twitchers and all that. Okay, so he's, when he's in the front, he gives a buff. Armor resistance, that's fine. Okay, I need you to live, but we need percent damage on you. Okay, so that's all that's doing is healing a stress, which is fine. Get a block here. Yeah, yeah, keep healing a stress. I don't care about that. We just want to kill him. Okay, so if he's in the front, he only does the guard stuff, so that's fine with us. Wow, this guy's got six block up. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they're just buffing each other over and over. It's fine. I want to get block on that guy, but I want to finish this guy off right now. attack right there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, let me finish this guy, please. Alright, 17 to 22. If this hits, he's dead. <laughs> nice! This never gets old. Never gets old. All right, now we need to heal. Now it's recovery time. We kill this guy, and it's recovery time. Okay, he had one more block. 
This guy has eight block. Oh my god. All right, eight block, bro. I'm actually gonna do this. Have a little tingle up your spine. Put a couple traps there and start absorbing his stuff. Okay. Alright, let's finish this guy off. God damn it, man. This game is stupid. Triple miss. 30% dodge, triple miss. Impale this wretch. Alright, okay. Sure, I need to get rid of his, uh, whatever. Okay, if I do this, that'll do some percent damage. God damn it, man. Kill him, please. Thank God, get out of here. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think okay, all right. Now it's recovery time. Let's start recovering. Get our wards up. And start healing for days. Healing for days. <laughs> this guy's got seven block, three wards. Uh, okay, I'm just going to keep doing Have these. We'll eventually get through those. Spine. All right, heal and mana back. Just gonna spam spells now. I think these guys will not take damage. The only guy I can't get heals on is this guy. So now it's this wonderful spam heals recovery. The funnest part of games like this. I'm gonna see if I can stack these. Have a little tingle up your spine. I don't know if those will stack. So when one explodes, I need to see if there's still a chest there. If not, then I know they don't stack. Okay. Retreating escape. Okay, he's gonna try to run now. I don't have vampire thing, do I? I need to get that. I need to get the vampire thing. That might be the next thing I go for. So just keep healing as much as we can. Have a little tingle up your spine. Maybe there's a small chance we kill him in time. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Yeah, there's no way we kill him, so let's just heal. Hey, we left all those gifts on the ground. <laughs> Alrighty. Leveled up our dude. And so the good thing is, is we have like mummies that we can rotate out because everyone else can basically uh, heal up. So I need to get one more thing, one more uh, talent point so I can get Blood Curse. So I can turn guys who are running away into vampires. Alright, Blood Golem upgrade. Who's one attack? Or we do more damage. I think we just always want more damage. Now, These guys. prove yourself worthy of my investment. Okay. So now we swap these guys out. Actually, I want you to heal. So do that. And I actually do want to heal some more. So I need a Wraith or a Blood whatever girl she is. Oh, the Blood Phantasm. That takes, that takes blood, obviously. And I have only two blood. What does the Wraith take? Wraith takes two Ectoplasm. So I have more of that. Be my last ashes. Uh, nice. 
beautiful. That's what we want. So I can do this. Infuse. And have these. Now we have really good cycling of our minions. I feel a little weird because I'm just using the same build every time. And I'd like to use other builds, but if this one works, you know, I can't, can't, whatever works, you know? What's up, Nietzsche? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. I guess I can throw you in there. You've got to level up. So, unfrozen. I feel like I'll want you to be able to do magic damage from the back. So, that's this guy. 14 to 16. Target receives 40 more damage or remove all buffs from the target. <sighs> Removing all buffs. Doesn't remove stances, does it? Well, it moves them so that could. So removing buffs or doing more damage or make them take more damage. Let's remove buffs. Get buffs can get to pretty battle. crazy. You unlocked the bone thing, creature? I did, and it's the only reason we're actually winning on this this uh, difficulty, because this difficulty is ridiculous, and these guys are by far the best tanks in the game. You get two of them, and they just, like, ward each other and heal. Just big, beefy, tanky dudes. All right, so I want lots of bones and skulls if I want to upgrade these guys. Have I already got the upgrade that allows me to do that? I want to... I want to get vampire thing, however... I can replace parts. Okay, good. Alrighty, let's see. Um, well, we don't have really any options. Let's go this way. We got a quest event thingy. Uh, desperation pushes mortals to fight, not always against you. The dwarves have oppressed their prisoners for too long, and with their forces stretched thin due to their invasion, your invasion, it was inevitable that some captives would use this opportunity to take revenge. Spies report that there is a large number of humans fighting against a substantial and well-armed dwarven force. It is likely that the uprising is going to be short-lived, silenced by fires of dwarven flamethrowers, unless you intervene somehow. A direct approach won't work, however. Showing up with your army will only provoke them to unite against you. So if I had a bride, I could snipe them. If I wait for the battle to finish, I can attack the victor. Yes. So we're going to probably fight some dwarves, yeah. Oh, triple berserkers. With slightly less health. Okay, let's get ourselves some speed. speed of thought. And so we do have a flamethrower, guys. I, th I think I want to focus. I want to focus these guys. So I'm gonna moving this guy forward might actually be useful, though. Let's lo let's lower his accuracy because I think he does a big AOE flamethrower attack. So the question is, do I want to get these guys tanky first or try to focus this guy down first? There's all these berserkers. They're going to be throwing lots and lots of axes, so we should still play this like normal. Just always, always get my bone armor up. Yes, more battle! Rude. Ow. Don't crit me, bro. Let's see what this guy does in the front here. Alright. Does he try to back up? Uh, maybe he likes to be in the front. I can't... I don't really know. Alright. Percent damage or something else. Lower accuracy. Oh, they're on fire. 20 to 22 true damage for two turns. Jesus. Well, then let's just do Impale this wretch. Armor absorbed. Oh, he's got freaking armor. Damn. I might need to focus these other guys down then. 14 armor. I don't have a way to get through armor really well with this, this group. I can stress them and then do his magical attack, but I would need to kill these guys first for that. I feel like I need to focus this guy down. Focus the guy with armor. It's probably a terrible idea, though. All right. 25 vigor to do 22 to 23 to all of them. 
That will put him at 60 something health. I'm going to try this. Extinction of life. Nice crit. 16 to 20. This guy will absorb most of his attack. So I'm going to hit who's the lowest? 65. This guy. Okay. 46 health. So I don't want to do this one again. It's probably a bad idea to go so low. However, oh God, pushing this guy back might be a good thing. He just flamethrower attack in the front. I'm going to hope he doesn't do it in the back. Oh, double crit. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Double fucking crit. I have blocks, and they're just critting them. Okay, yeah, he does want to come forward. Okay. All right, well, we have to heal now. So I need to push this guy back is what I need to do. So if I move this guy too forward, that'll put him in the back. God damn it. This fucking game, I swear. Impale this wretch. I uh, see so you're missing 55. So if I do this, 100%, you're dead. So this will kill you. Nice. Was your first mistake. Opposing please don't die from the fire, please. Oh, goddamn. God, I still got a block. No, fuck me. He's critting every goddamn attack. Okay, I need my I need my haste. Speed of thought. Okay. All right. Uh, I can kill this guy. He's gonna get a heal. I'll pull this guy forward. This is my kind of flamethrower guy. He's kicking my ass, man. Please don't say he's gonna go first, okay. Alright, give him his armor so he doesn't die. Hopefully, he probably still gonna die. Okay, please, for the love of God, don't fail here. Okay, that pulls him up. That means this guy's gotta do his advance, I believe. Oh, thank God. So this will... Ah, uh, I can't do that attack. Um, 10 to 14. Impale this wretch. Haha, oh, God. Left him with two health. Alright, we do get to go before this guy. So I have to move this guy back to be able to kill this guy, which I can't do now because of what I did. Um, so we just want minus accuracy and minus lock. And please, please kill him. Nice. This one voided its bowels just as it died. Okay, now we just need to heal for lots and lots. Okay, this guy's gonna set us on fire every time. I don't know if I'll be able to out heal his fire to us every time. He misses us. That's really good. Though. Hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Okay, crit. All right. So he's missing twenty-something sanity. So I will be able to kill him. All right. Wow, flamethrower guy sucks against this our our team here. They are really strong. Alright, I might need to use a crappy team to um 
soften up the next group we fight. Dwarves put up quite a fight. Their strength will be put to better use within your breathless army. What did I just get? What just what just happened there? All right, there's some elites. I think. I think I want to. I want to use some crappy group to uh, soften up the next fight. Is what we want to do. Spells, hexes, curses. So, do I have enough parts to build a small mini group? I think I do. Um, and these guys didn't get a heal because that was a. I really think that's dumb that quest fights don't count as an actual event for these things to activate. I think that's pretty bullshit. I think that's really dumb. Okay. Alright. Uh, loses 25 vigor, lose 50 vigor. 50% chance to stun. 50% uh, to, uh, chance to resurrect. Golem can't miss. But does more damage. Let's go for a chance to resurrect. Well, my minion. Um, let's see here. 30% goes to 40% of their current health. 30% stays the same. And it costs less. Let's go for the more damage. And mummy... We do the knockback or point of negative luck, point of negative luck. Something that we can use in the back, so we do that one. All right, well, I guess what we do then is... Yeah, we keep that. All right, so probably we're going to lose these guys. But let's use some crappy group that's probably going to die and uh, see what our fight's going to be. So, we have a big metal dude, which I think is just really well armored. So, I think I want to attack him with magic damage. We have the big tanky elite dude, which we'll probably ignore. We have one berserk and we have one... That's a traitor guy. So, I think what we want to do is zombie... We got his tanky thing, so he wants to keep tanking. And then when he does attack, we want to do a big magic attack. Uh, set them on fire. 15 to 17 damage. Ignores resistance. Ignores ward. I think we ignore ward here. Because usually we're only using magic attacks on guys who are armored anyway. I expect results. All right, so against a team like this, we've got our back guy, backline guy doing damage. I think I have probably a Banshee in here that's like level two somewhere, right? Level one. You're level two but low health. We have this Wraith. Also does magic damage in the front. Okay. And so I need one other thing, like middle row. What would be good? Lost soul, maybe? Lost soul could be healed, be a heal when they're getting wards and blocks. So if I had a lost soul... She does stress attacks and magic damage. She only does the magic damage from the front. Okay. All right. Let's do a lost soul. I don't want to use high level stuff either. Okay. It's a very squishy team. I will use one brain on this, I think. I'll use like a level... I got a lot of level 3 brains, so let's use a level 3 brain on her. Alright, and... Two wards. One block and one ward. Let's do one block and one ward. 
And then where's their heal? 1821 Vigor. I want to do the bigger heal that will hopefully be absorbed by a ward. All right, so if I lose this group, don't get mad, Rand. Don't get mad. This is on purpose. We're trying to soften these guys up. If we win, that's just gravy. Uh, at the start of combat, all enemies must pass a sanity check. It's a weird thing. Um, all enemies lose 15% act, or minus 15 accuracy until the end of the battle. All minions gain two attack and dread. Enemies are like more likely to drop parts. I'm doing better on parts. There's still some parts I don't have a lot of. So let me let me keep this one a little bit longer. Whoa, 20 to 40 magic damage to the first three enemies. Holy crap. That's insane. Finally, this item finds its way. Wow, that's really good magic damage. Okay. Uh, so I don't want to use this one-time spell then because I'm going to need my mana for that. Actually, parts drop more often. This is only going to be if I win. So I actually want to buff my minions here. And I'm thinking I probably don't win here, so. All minions and enemies gain evasion. Why would I want my enemies to gain evasion? That's terrible. Here, I'll get it wrath. my undead features. Random enemy loses luck. Minions gain armor. Let's have them lose luck, or one of them lose luck, because critting is going to, like, one-shot us. So, I'm going to not use the minus accuracy thing. All right, let's let's go soften these guys up and hope that works. I would love to kill them, but I'm just mainly hoping for at least making them have less health and maybe killing one one character here. Okay. Speed of thought. Oh, this is a potion guy. All right. One block, stress damage. Uh, this guy's armor and resistance, damn. Fifty percent chance to redirect, redirect everything to himself, right? So we want to do AOE stuff then. Oh, yes, we buff them with an accuracy when we do that. All right, give yourself tanky stats, bro. All righty. So I can't do anything to this guy until I get through all his wards, so I probably need to focus other dudes. Physical damage, 21 and 23, 16, 17 magic damage. Please target minion for healing and destroy a trap. Okay. I think we want to focus this guy down is what we want to do. So he's got no armor or resistance, so whichever is the bigger attack. Actually, if I give a debuff on this guy, he will take more damage from other sources. So let's go ahead and do this. Why can't I do this? Ah, oh, because you got moved back, damn it. Target loses all initiative per turn. Or we do AoE stress. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, there's our block down. Let's dance. Right, lost our wards there. What is that stance? Beginning of the next turn, deal. 30 to 33 magical damage to all frickin' minions. Oh my god. All right, I think I have a fury thing that moves everybody, but I think a warder's gonna stop it. This is gonna move her back and do 34 to 39 damage to somebody.
Okay. Continue to try to find a focus. Try to focus that guy. Okay. Alrighty, this is the one that they all randomly swap positions. However, he's probably going to be immune to it. But I can do magic damage to this guy. So I continue to try to focus him. Yo, oh, here we go. Chain lightning. Let's use this thing. Get rid of Gets rid of that ward. Okay. This guy's almost dead. Freaking hell. All right. Well, gets rid of a ward. So this will remove all buffs. Savor these last few heartbeats. Well, we're about to, about to get blasted, but it's okay if we lose these guys. It's fine. Don't get mad, Rian. Still gonna get mad, probably. This guy's all bloody. All right, our wards are protecting us. Here it comes. Wait, why didn't? Why he didn't do his thing? Did we cancel it somehow? I have no idea how that happened, but I think we canceled it. Okay. Set this guy on fire. That should actually finish him. Right? 20 to 22. Damn, it's not quite full. So I need to do a little bit more damage. Let's see if I can move this guy to cancel his stance. Nice, we're canceling his stance. Beautiful. Hey, what's up, Imzas? How are you doing, my friend? I sound disappointed. What, about my guys not dying, or...? <laughs> okay, so I need an AoE attack if I can. Uh, when does this guy go? He goes... For him. Um... This guy's got no armor. Start working on this guy. There's a chance that this guy dies from the fire. Actually, I need him to get his uh, buff, so I'm going to do this. What's up, Imza? It's good to see you, my friend. Okay, we got the block to absorb that damage. And then we take a big chunk of damage. Please die. Oh, one off lethal. We just took... Bunch of damage because of that one off lethal. Right, well, this guy will die. Now I can I can ignore this guy. I don't think there's any way he lives. Um, he will absorb that with his thing there. So. Start doing damage to this guy. No, oh, never mind. Busy day, sir. Busy day. Just got home from the gym. How are you on this nice but very cold day? I'm doing pretty well. I'm uh, staying alive. I wonder if I want to try to make this guy go insane. 135 stress. I think I'm just going to attack this guy. Start focusing him down. Okay. So I can heal, and a ward will absorb it. Let's go ahead and get the heal on you. Cool. So the ward, unless the ward gets absorbed, we're good. But I should just do another ward thingy. The enemy in the front row needs a little sister for you to extract Adam from. <laughs> nice, nice Bioshock reference. I saw that on AGDQ recently. All right. All right, so I wasn't able to cancel this thing that time. And she got stunned from that too. Yikes. Skip turn. That sucks. Okay. All right, I'm going to actually freeze. I'm going to do this. This guy can actually give a little bit of a of a heal there. 
Let's get his uh, blocks and stuff online. Speaking of staying alive, when is the next Twitch Twitch Sings stream? Much interest. I've actually been thinking about that recently. Um, it would have to be after this week because this week I have a singing gig, so I don't want to wear out my voice doing that. But I might do that in the next couple weeks here. I've been thinking about wanting to do that. Ow. Definitely thinking about doing that soon. Okay. Alright, let's just try to do as much damage as we can. We're probably about to die here. Well, this guy does have a ward, so he would work on him. Can I give myself this ward? No, I can't. So... Try to stay in alive, stay in alive here. Well, that's a pretty nice attack right there. Use him back and oh, uh, his resistance absorbed it. You mean you own a very Randy Christmas, a very Randy Christmas too, Randy Boogaloo? You still need to hear your songs for your new album, Rand Sings Star Wars. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ow! Holy crap! I freaking double block, and he just like, well, maybe I didn't have block. Holy crap, I got blasted. Okay. All right. Target and target behind him sets him on fire. Um, do I try to stay alive, or do I just do damage here? Let's try to stay alive. Yes, not the damage part, though. Yes, uh, I wasn't happy about that either, but, you know. Okay, this has a chance to kill him. Yes! Excellent source of fresh corpses. Oh. Okay, so she tried to do that damage, but the heal kept him alive, right? So I have two wards, so I can actually do the heal again. Alright, this team is actually pretty decent. You have six resistance. You have no resistance, so I want to do magic damage to you. What does this do? 26 to 29 damage to target and enemy behind it. Target loses... Three initiative. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, nice. Still be enough left to Holy crap, is that called Dire Wolf or something? No, oh, I lost her. That guy took half his health in one friggin' attack. You got a friend on mine to watch your YouTube videos of this, and he already bought it. Nice. Very nice. Okay. 84 to 96 physical damage. Damn, if only... You didn't have all those blocks on you. All right, igniting can be very good. Oh, this guy's trying to run. Okay. Damn, I could get a vampire if I had mana. No freaking mana, though. Oh, man, can I actually kill him in time? Possibly. Maybe? Whoo! 50 freaking damage. 24 health. If I crit, I kill this guy. I don't think we crit. So I probably just wasted. Oh, <laughs> we just missed. Oh, well. So, this is what a thousand years of Oh, did he die? I think he died from the Oh, I think he died died from the fire. Nice. You're getting close to buying. Once my Pathfinder Kingmaker Mania has passed, you'll you can play something else. Well, I was talking today about stopping playing this because um, I was getting frustrated. But today the game has. I finally got to the second floor on this highest or next to highest difficulty. So I will I will warn you. If you play this game, be prepared for. Raging on the higher difficulties. I think this might be lethal here. Nice. We so killed them and we only lost one guy. Nice. Holy crap. Achievement unlocked cannon fodder. Nice. Dear, why did I have to be reminded that Mecco and more importantly their album Star Wars and other galactic funk exist? <laughs> now Amza is going to uh, uh, look those up. Huh? 
Dicey Dungeons also seems quite as frustrating. Not as much because Dicey Dungeons are faster runs. So if you lose, you can restart quicker. So games that have longer runs are more frustrating when you lose. But that was actually great. I was not expecting to win that fight. I actually meant for that team I just sent in there to die and soften them up for my real team. So that went really well. Kingmaker, Kingmaker is stupidly frustrating. Okay. Um, what do we have next? We have a heal. Next, a heal would be nice. No, we have a fight with a magic face lady. All right. I think with two tanky guys, I think we give this a shot with our team and then have these guys that we just had that did an amazing job of staying alive and actually killing their enemies heal up. So that was great. Great work, my friends. Great work. I was not expecting you to do so well. Okay. Uh, so you... More damage or critical hit more damage. More evasion. Good with this, Serve I guess. Me well, my do, do I prefer this to Darkest Dungeon, Max? Yes, although I have played a lot more Darkest Dungeon, so it's hard to say. Can I get this if I upgrade it? Okay, so if I get a Blood Girl, I can heal one more. I, I definitely want that. Main reason I would say yes right now is because this game does feel less punishing, but the later you go, the higher the difficulty, the closer it gets to Darkest Dungeon, so I could definitely... I could definitely f see myself getting as frustrated at this as I do at Darkest Dungeon. You know, the dead is surprisingly good construction work. Right, so level and level. And then Bone Golem upgrade to have a chance to resurrect, I guess. Okay, I should probably see if I can upgrade these guys' things here. Uh, I have one talent point. I would love more mana. Anything to get more mana? No. Okay, I think we just save our points right now. Uh, just so it shows how well you're understanding the game, though. You can win with a team that you were going to lose with. I guess I'm getting a, a bit of a better understanding as I go along. Okay, we're definitely not using that. We just don't have enough mana for it. So let's do parts um, physical damage when we use a spell where's the weapon I was using this guy about parts it embellishes my undead parts. features oh extra mana each turn yeah let's go ahead and do that so we're low on mana let's use that okay so uh, I have a lot of hearts I have a decent number of skulls and a decent number of bones so Yeah, let's see if we can get a purple skull for this bone golem. Uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Alrighty, so this guy. You're low on health, so hopefully I'm not wasting this skull. Vigor, attack, and accuracy. Let's go. Okay, so I can get green, green. I can get one blue bone for this guy as well. It's expensive to really get these. These bone golems are expensive to upgrade, that's for sure. Behold my Two attack, work. one armor, okay. And this guy, he's just got two greens of those, okay. Uh, you guessed, but I know in a rare moment, Chair said how well you were doing in the game and that he was proud to support you while I played it. Well, thanks, Chair. I appreciate you too. But then immediately remarked on how all humans will pay for putting their buffs butts all over chairs. <laughs> well, if chairs gonna vote for venting humans, you know I'm all for it. All right, there are no elites in this fight, so this might actually be a fight where we can recover. 
might actually have be an event where we could recover a bit here. We need to kill this guy first for sure, though. And they all get to go before I get to do a single thing, which I, I hate it when that happens. I just think that's so unfair. Just, just super, super unfair. Speed of thought. Okay. So this thing uh, is really immune to actually magic damage, so my physical attack team is really good. Um, maybe I focus her down then. Immune to stress attacks and ignition doesn't escape. It's actually probably better if I leave her alive, but I feel like she's going to attack. Do a crap ton of damage. I'm going to do this because I want to pull this guy forward because I think he does less useful stuff when he's forward. Okay. Let's get the percent damage thing trap going. A vote for Rand is a vote for venting humans. That's right. right. Let's go ahead and get the armor. Let's get our blocks going here. I need you to heal once, though, before you get your armor on him. Let's use a bunch of mana at the beginning. Alright, try to keep focusing this guy. That percent damage attack is so stinking good, man. I love it. Okay. Alright. We want to keep pulling these guys around here. I can pull you into to take percent damage or I can make it so that he's even lower. That's probably the best thing to do. This guy is at 28 health. Now, debuff. Loses all armor, loses all resistance forever. That seems fair. Forever having no armor. Okay, uh, I can remove debuffs, though. So we were going to have to do that. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get our guard up on our, our block on here. I hope we don't get crit and killed. Where are the two frontliners? They look pretty badass. They're called bone golems, and they are the tankiest things in this game because they have a self-heal and a give block, our guard, which is a immunity to attack thing. Um, to another character. So they basically give each other block stuff as they uh, as they heal it themselves. So that's pretty insane. Okay. I need to kill this guy. So I need to pull him forward. They're so generous with each other. Yeah, they work great in teams. <laughs> I really want to be able to hit this guy back here. If I move this guy forward, he'll be able to hit this guy, and that should be lethal, I think. It's a little scary. Strength to not do his heal, but I'm going to do this. One more for the Beautiful. Piles. All right. One down. We want to kill her next because these two blocky guys, the two tanky guys, are not that scary. Oh, crap. I wasn't going to be able to... I, I can't remove their debuffs because I need to move forward. So I got to move forward here so I can remove their debuffs next time because these guys not having any armor or resistance is bad. It's fine. Got our blocks and wards. She's going to keep giving herself blocks and wards. Okay. Okay. Got rid of her ward there. You guys have your blocks and wards. Um, I'm going to do this because I always do the block. This, this does more damage for every eight points of vigor the minion's missing. So, missing a lot of health. That should do a ton of damage. That's just that buff, 26. That's just not that strong, man. It's not that strong. Let's 
go ahead and start healing my guys up. Come on, skill, get stronger. That's right. All right, so we're going to remove their debuffs so they no longer are forever... Forever missing their armor and resist. I think they have some armor and resist, right? A crit buff. All right, great. <laughs> oh, he's trying to run. Vampire for me. So don't kill that guy. We need to not kill that guy. And uh, we will get a free vampire from that. Um, yeah, they do have... They don't have a ton of block and armor, so it wasn't a huge deal, but... All right, I need to kill her. Uh, so let's bring her into the... Damn it. I wanted to bring her into that thing. Okay. Oh, get crit on, lady. All right, that's a vampire for me. As soon as we kill this girl, then we just uh, spam and heals. Become Bam! Crit for exact time. Nice. Very nice. So lazy, so hungry to order food or to heat up leftovers. The biggest question of them all. Uh, I know what I would do. I order food. That's what I always do because I am so lazy when it comes to food. Should have given that guy a block, but that's fine. Pretty sure you said spamming heals, but I heard spamming eels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get get right on spamming some eels. Okay. Okay. I don't actually want to do damage to you, so... so we're going to wait. Apparently, I can't not do anything. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, so please don't kill him. Which you have a chance to kill him. Okay, good. Thank you for not killing him. I want to get at least one more mana recovery thing here. Beautiful. One more heal. Okay, we're basically full health, so we're in good shape. Finish him. Uh, I mean, Unagi is killer. I don't know what Unagi is. Cook yourself an absolute extravagant seven-course meal. Yeah, feeling lazy? That's what you should do. <laughs> that won't take hours or anything. All right, we got ourselves a vampire. Can I immediately sacrifice you for an upgrade somewhere? Uh, I could get more mana. Ooh, I like that idea. I just don't have the money for it, or the whatever it's called, the stuff for it. Okay, so you are all healed. You made a mafa yesterday, which is a West African beef peanut stew. Wow. Sounds... That sounds fancy. <laughs> that sounds super fancy. So we're going to level up you. Wow, you're, you're level six. So let's level up you. Uh, let's level up you. We're going to take you. And that trap that does 40% of life is super strong. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. You, you totally sound like... Um, Stewie from Family Guy when you say that, sir. Are you okay with that? I'm trying to understand if you're okay with that. I do want to upgrade this because we are we are using lots of mana, especially with that chain lightning. So I want to save this vampire for that. So. Alright. Wow, we actually have extra minions that I don't have to put anywhere. Oh, I didn't have anybody here. Damn. Waste. Bit of a waste there. But I don't have them anywhere else to play, place, and I don't have uh, extra construction things for it. It's really not fancy, but it sure is delici delicious, and it's quite good. You've ate it, you've ate it for the last, last four meals. I do that, too. I definitely do that, too. So it's skulls and bones that I want, but I have all the other pieces. Maybe I can do some upgrades on my shades and mummies, then. Let's check our next uh, fight. Ah, it's a sacrifice. So... 
If I sacrifice another Blood Knight, I can get even more experience for my uh, for a Ratus, or I can sacrifice a minion to get an item that would be useful. Um, I mostly have items for these guys. I feel like the experience for a Ratus would still be good. At the start of a turn, if a minion gains plus four dread for one turn, Baratus has at least 50 wrath. Um, sanity check. Ultimate abilities of, abilities of minions cost less wrath. Start of a turn, turn a minion restores eight vigor if Baratus has 75 wrath. Oh, wow. That's really good. If I have 75 Wrath, it's a free heal. Wow. Rand also eats exclusively West African stews for the last four meals. Gotcha. Yes, that's totally what I said. Uh, man, that's some pretty good little things there. I kind of want to go for these. Okay, it's going to take a lot of points to get that. So let's get ourselves a Dark Knight to sacrifice. Generals. Oops. Here. Let's. How does it feel to be a minion whose sole purpose in life is to get sacrificed? Hope it feels good, because that's what's happening. Okay. Extra XP. Uh, no, what I'll sometimes do is I will um, make tacos and i'll have tacos for four days in a row i'll tell you the choices i make to eat are not good choices for your stomach feeling good i'll just tell you that all right we got that guy who wants to do the big electrocution thing again um we do have knockbacks and pushes and pulls here so we should be good with our with our group for this um i did want to see about doing upgrades for let's see i have a lot of hearts so mommy have a heart, you have flesh. If I could get a blue flesh. Man, if any of these guys use tarts, I could get some good upgrades on you. How about rags? Green, green. I could get a blue rags for my mummy or my shade. Let's let's get a blue rags and see if it's like a physical damage thing, give it to mummy. If it's a evasion, we give it to the shade. Hold my work. All right, we got purple rags. Resistance, luck, and accuracy. I think we give that to the mummy. Because uh, accuracy is good for his attacks. Luck for crit. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. What else we got? Ash or dust... We do not have, we have like almost no dust. Armor, we only have three armor. So no good upgrades there. Got a little Slate Spire, really solid shiv deck. Actually in cards and such, the time eater says hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sucks. That feel when you have a perfect build for a different boss. I definitely want to play some more Slate Spire. Soon. I also want to play Oxygen Not Included that I uh, now have uh, to check out. Alright, so that guy is just a big sniper dude, huh? Okay, let's get our speed. Speed of thought. Musketeer. Ah, oh, God, this guy's got all these blocks and stuff. Alright, but if we pull somebody in front of him, it's not that bad. So... I want to focus down this guy, I believe. Yeah, he's lower health. So let's do 40% of his health with a single attack. Awesome. Let's get our blocks going. You're going to go on a limb and say the problem there is the tacos, not the very concept of meal prep. Oh, yeah, it's it's my choice of... It's what I choose to eat. It's not... 
It's not my preparation of things. It's definitely the choices I make for what I eat. Because I make bad choices for eating. That is definitely definitely a true thing. Okay, you're going to get guard and block. As you oh, debuff of minus attack and dread. I think I'm okay with that. What is that stance? Okay, so I need to cancel that somehow. Gonna do all that damage. And whenever an ally takes targeted damage, alright, I need to pull you. So you get out of your stance. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. I swear these guys have way higher percent dodge than they actually have. Frickin' FTL all over again. Impale this wretch. Yeah, that's fine. You can buff him. I'm going to kill this guy right now. I hope. 21 and 22. Get wrecked. That's right. Excuse my French, by the way. I'm sorry. I get... God damn it, I get so frustrated with... Uh, with games like this where it's like a percent of something to happen and it happens like all the time. Okay, crit debuff. Minus accuracy, minus attack and shred. Okay. Um, and I can't move this guy, so we're going to take a big chunk of damage here. So let's just focus this girl. Try to kill her. Yeah, it was low damage, because I guess because of her low attack that I said wasn't that big a deal. Alright. Oh, I can remove debuffs, but I, I wish this guy... Mummy. There are certain things I do not like about the mummy. The fact that you can't do your heal from the back row is bullshit to me. It's stupid. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Impale this wretch. Get rid of your guards here. Damn, look how many blocks and wards you just got from like a couple turns right there. Okay, if I get rid of both blocks, I can kill her with my mummy. Uh, but my mummy's stunned, so I can't. So I need to heal. This damn game, seriously. He just stunned half of my characters and is now doing it again and I can't cancel it out because he's got three fucking blocks on here. <sighs> Look at how many blocks these guys have. This is so fucking stupid. Three attacks. Two blocks, and then I can move him to cancel this thing. Unless I crit. If I crit... No, I don't have two attacks, though, because they're stunned. Oh, my God. All right, I'm about to die here. And they're both about to attack. Honestly, don't know what to do here. I'll probably just die. Perish. Oh, we crit. We crit that bypasses thing. Oh, thank God. The redirect plus a crit just saved us there from that big lightning attack. Oh, thank God. All right, we're alive. God damn it. I can't... All right, I, need to, I need to finish this girl off. I need three attacks to get through your two goddamn blocks here. Impale this wretch. Maybe I just kill this guy, actually. This guy not having any target damage except no stress is, makes this pretty frustrating. So 80% of your sanity loss. You're only missing 7, so that'll do like next to no damage. I think we need you to do the heal. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, I need to kill her. Okay, we got rid of her block. Please finish her. 11 health, 16 to 20. Please hit. One by okay. one. All right. Life Almost where we can start recovering here. Okay. Right, I need to heal. Okay, he is going to do his attack, so I need to. I need to pull him with this guy. And that will work, so we're going to heal. It will work if it hits. Oh, for the love of God, please hit. Let me get some speed going here. Speed of thought. Oh, God. Because that guy died from it, now I can't pull him and cancel his thing. It would have missed anyway. Okay, is there any way we cancel this out? 91 health. 34 to 35 twice. I would have to get a crit. 26 health. He's going to do 30 to 33 magic damage. Mm, man. I think I'm losing. I think I'm losing my shade here. Unless he misses. Unless he evades. I think we lose our shade. I don't think losing attack will do anything. How much health we're down? This attack might actually be worth more. No crit. I mean, it's a knockback, but knockback don't affect stances. He missed. Yes, freaking hell, he missed. All right. Okay, we can actually do a little recovery. Oh my god. Okay, okay. How much health do you have? 17. I actually don't want you to die here. Wait. Are you the last person here? I can do this. Strength through pain. Heal. Oh. Heal. And my guy just skipped his turn for some reason. I I don't I don't know why he did that. Regeneration. What the freaking hell? Okay, I guess he's going to heal, too. Why the hell did my guy skip his turn? Was he stunned and I didn't notice? God damn it, game. Why the hell does this guy just get so many attacks? Okay, give me speed. We are 4v1. We should get attacked like three times before this guy gets to do anything. Frail bodies fail you. Alright. Okay, you have 17 health. Do I finish him or do I go for a heal? Let's go. Tr let's try to finish him. Cap. This guy is not is Mine not stallable against the apparently. We're just going to have to heal after this. Maybe we get a heal event after this fight. That would be amazing. Do we? No, we got to fight. So we're going to we're gonna plan on softening them up like we did with our other team and hope that they do even half as well as our previous uh, guys did. So I wanted to get... Which one was it? Ire. Minion restores 8 vigor if I have a certain amount of wrath, which we have a lot of the time. All minions and enemies gain luck. I need okay. nothing but my anger to purge this world. So I need two, three, four, five. I need five more skill points to get that. Okay. 
All right, well, we did survive. We didn't lose anybody. Loose anybody. That's really good. Let's do that. Um, and then, what was our team? It was... This guy... Oh, wait, I was going to put my vampire somewhere. Was it? Was it here? Yes. Unholy okay. masonry. It was... I had a tanky one of these guys. Yes, you. 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 What, what, what else did we have? It's a lost soul. I think that she died, didn't she? Um... Um... Alright, how would you do in this in this team? You do percent... The percent damage thing... Make them take stress. You have your self-heal. You're still pretty good. We'll have some guy do that. Let's see if you can get level and level. And so I need one... Two random minions to put in places here. I don't think I want to make another lost soul for one fight. Her soul wouldn't get lost so much if it just take that right turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> All right, sure. Although her heal was pretty good. What does it take? Ectoplasm, skull, cloth. If I did one of these and used another, used a level three brain. I feel like that would be worth. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't want a chance of losing you on a team that might wipe. So let's do that. Just a level three brain. So she can get her bigger heal. Now, and give her wards. Do you want to do the one block, one ward? Or the two wards? Let's see who we're fighting. It's not a big metal guy. I don't think. Is that guy? I think that's a flamethrower guy, actually. I need to be able to remove... Do any of you... Can any of you m remove wards? Is there an upgrade where I can remove wards from an enemy? Ignores ward. There was some other character that was able to remove wards. Who was it? I forget which one it was. Alright, let's change this to one block and one ward, maybe. And this moves her back when she uses that. Okay. Heinz ward? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who is that? Sounds like a football player. Alright, so I need to take... Ooh, we're getting really close to unlocking ghoul. I almost got the ghoul. Alrighty, so... Rand, don't get mad. You're planning on losing this team. We're planning on it. Planning on losing this team. All right, that is a big flamethrower, guys. So we just need to keep him from being in the front row. That is the goal. If he's not in the front row, we can't do quite as much crazy stuff. Speed of thought. Don't get mad, Rand. Don't get mad. I'm going to try to not get mad. Right, moving her forward is actually not great. Not from this row. We want him to be the second row. Okay. Okay. I really want to focus this guy down. Actually, the Geomancer is really scary. These guys are all scary. Um, let's try to focus this guy. He now takes extra damage from everybody. So, sets targets on fire. Physical damage to the guys behind him. I don't know, let's set them on fire if we can. 
please work. Nice. Okay, setting them on fire is really strong. Well, that's not as much fire as I was hoping. So this guy's actually going late, so I can move him next turn if possible. The baked beans make sense. What? The wards are in the baked beans. Uh, just be surprised if I win. That's what I'm... That's the plan. The plan is to be surprised when things go well. God damn, this guy sucks. Okay. Okay. Um... I'm going to do this to try to pull this guy forward now. Okay. All right. Now, be tanky. Um, let's use some mana here. Impale this wretch. Actually, 28 to 30 damage. And it knocks him back. Go ahead and do that. Please hit. Nice. Okay. 21 to 26. That kills him. Actually, you're dead. You're not dead from the burn. Damn. Beautiful. Okay, we got one down. Hey, Rand, for Space Engineers, do you want me to make you an FTL ship for use in space? No, some guy. I don't want anybody to make me anything. That's one reason why I haven't been playing with other people on the server like i've just been working on my own stuff i want to make my own stuff so i appreciate the thought but uh please don't make me anything i'm going to i'm gonna do my own stuff moves all buffs from the target sees more damage all right we want to do magic damage so we're going to do this i want to focus this guy down next get rid of this ward <laughs> Wow. Crit debuff. Minus armor and resistance. Okay. Who's all buffs and debuffs from enemies? Uh, I don't want to get rid of that magic thing. Make him some cookies. He allows his minions to make him cookies. That's right. You can make me cookies. You can only have Scout, Bomber, Kestrel, and Cruiser to pick from. You can leave it as a shell and you can figure out how you want to fill it. No, some guy. I appreciate it, but no, I don't want you to build me anything. I want to build my own stuff. Again. I appreciate the thought, but please don't build me stuff. I will build my own stuff. Um, okay, warden block. Just go ahead and give you that. I want you to build your own stuff when you're on uh, the server, but uh, you do not need to build me stuff. Okay, this will slow them down too as well. Uh, let's use, let's give ourselves speed again. Speed of thought. And do this. Cool. Nice. And deadly. Okay. Uh, get our block and ward. The reason I don't play a lot of games with viewers is because so many viewers, when they're trying to help me are actually playing the game for me. They're doing content that I would like to do myself. And as much as I'd appreciate you offering to build me a ship, I would prefer to build my own ships. Ow. Frickin' hell. All right. Oh my god, that guy's gonna burn. So I actually need to do this for you to not die here. Fire, that guy does is insane. Okay, so can you freeze yourself? You can't freeze yourself. You're basically dead. So I think we want to just do as much damage as possible with you right now. Is she dead? She's not dead. Unless he somehow gets a ward. Um, unless I want to freeze somebody else. No, let's just do damage. Sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Unless I could try to run away, possibly. 
We could maybe run and keep these guys alive. That guy's gonna take... Yeah, he's just dead. I don't think there's any way I save him. Your frail bodies fail you. Uh, especially if he sets us on fire again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so she's going to go next and take 22 to 24, so she'll live. So if I do tactical retreat, I will try to run on my next turn, I believe. I would like to get another targeted damage ability. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Start of their next turn. So, do some damage. You will burn for some, but you won't die. And you're going to thankfully attack my beefiest guy. Block absorbs it. Ah, oh, she did burn for full health. God. All right. Oh. Oh, they don't they don't run away until it's their turn. I forgot how that works. Okay. All right. Well, I lost two, but we killed we killed one and and uh, got two almost dead. So. Wow, my zombie really took a lot of damage. Oh, we don't get the cut damn it. We don't get the heal. I forgot. Okay, um, well, this might still be okay. These guys being able to self-heal, as long as they don't get immediately blown up, we might be okay here. I expected them to go down, yes, yes, it's fine, it's fine, I was... Hoping to either kill more or lose less, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. All right, how am I missing a minion there? Um, actually, let me do this. I want you to heal, and you can level. So I need one minion to go in there for extra mana. Ah, two minions. Where are those? I thought I had minions in there. Okay, not skulls. One more. Performance. And a crappy weapon. Okay. Oh, it didn't swap. Well, shh, shh, Nikes, I did not mean to do that. Uh, so here and here. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's hope our bone golem can live. Uh, do I have a consumable I can use here? Minus accuracy, or they have to make a sanity check. I didn't do, like, hardly any stress damage. So I think we do this. I think I have enough mana. I do have enough mana where I can just do this. And then we can recover. Let's go for that. All right. Do not one-shot my dudes, please. Do not one-shot my low-health golems. Please, please, please do not do it. set everybody on fire. Cool. Great. So that actually kills both those guys. So now it's, how do I heal without taking a crap ton of damage from this guy? That's the challenge. How do I do that? Oh, I can remove debuffs with him. I can remove debuffs with him. Um, that's a magic attack, so... Block doesn't really do much of anything, so we just want to heal. God damn, does he get to do it again? Okay, we went before him, thank god.
Okay, all right. Missed two of my guys, so that's good. God, I wish I wish there were stuns in this game. That's that's what I wish. I wish I could stun. So if I move forward, I can get rid of his pyromania again. Let's do that. Strength through pain. How much damage can I heal? Let's find out. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, whoops. Can we out heal his? Flamethrower is the question. Alright, let's make him lose accuracy and hope he misses us with his flamethrower attack over and over and over again. That's insane, man. Actually freaking insane. If I kill you now, I won't kill you. If I kill you now, I won't kill you. If I do Bone Spear, no, people absorb that. All right, well, let's just keep trying to heal it. 31. So it's more, it's more than the burn, but it's not more than the burn plus the attack he does. So I need to just try to kill him. Damn it. How do I do it? I need to do stress damage and then do your magic attack. Or crit is what I need to do, but if we do this, ah, your yeah, that's a good crit. Bodies fail. Thirty-four to thirty-five. This guy just being left alone in the front row is insane. All right, there we go. We're gonna get him now. Okay, heal. And then this guy will finish it right here. 100% of the missing sanity. Yes. Can't miss. All right. Frickin' giant elite flamethrower, dude. Get out of my face, man. Missed the problematic one. Well, I mean, it's when it's the uh, elite guy who's got the most health. They're all problematic. I mean, leaving any of them... The one that I wanted to leave alive was the uh, tanky guy. And... He was the one with the lowest health, not the not the guy I actually wanted to kill. So right, let's see what we, let's see what we get here. All right, attack dread. All enemies lose armor and resistance. Uh, three armor, three resistance. Whenever an enemy dies due to a heart attack, it rocks an additional experience points. No, that's definitely not useful. Um, I think them losing armor and resistance better. I don't know if we'll be able to use this. Uh, I think we want to do combat buffs now. If the cumulative level of enemies in battle is less than 10, Eratus gains 100 additional experience after victory. Wow. Okay. Well, that would be useful early in a run. Let's see what we got. Guarantees to find a brain after victory. Okay. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Okay, how close are we getting to what we were looking for? The heal. So I need this. Rivers will And then we can get red. that. All units recover to full vigor for, with 80 mana. Whoa! Holy crap. If I want to heal, there we go. Jesus. For 80 mana, we get a full heal for my entire... I did not know that was a thing. Holy crap, I want that. All right, what do we got here? We got full elite squad if we go that way. Jesus. Or we go this way and avoid... I think we just avoid the full elite squad. Kind of like Slay the Spire. Okay, who is that special guy? Not sure, but it's got a big thunder guy. It's a lifesaver, literally, yeah. Um, God, I need a heal so bad. But the heal goes towards an elite squad. So 
So I, do I try to do another team to... Uh, well, you know what? I just finished a battle, so that means whoever was in here just healed. So I do have some guys that are healed. So... So... Um... We could try something like this to soften them up again. Uh, that's not the team. I just didn't like the Lost Soul. Our heal is not that good. We need self-healing or absorption. Um, I think we do this. What do you need the third row for? The recovery. So if things are looking bad, maybe we try to run. 48, so I can't do any upgrades, right? Yeah, it costs 60. Okay, so we'll just put you in there for now. Still don't have her unlocked. I feel like we're getting really close to her. 248 more self damage. All right, I think I have time for one or two more attacks. We're not going to be able to get to the final of this uh, level it seems like did I lose my unfrozen? That's why I'm missing the unfrozen Do I want to take another unfrozen here? That guy with the skull is that a geomancer if that's a geomancer we need to kill him Maybe the guys are in the back of the geomancers. There's like no guys that are good to recover on This is such freaking scary fights man you bring the good luck of Door Slug. May your conquering of the mortals go well. Thanks, Rinja Aggie. How are you doing, my friend? I've been seeing that you've been streaming a lot lately. It's good to see you. Okay, Mummy and Shade. This does not feel like a team that's going to go well. So let's see what happens. What's the consumable I have? It guarantees we find a brain after victory. Okay. You're well. Good to hear. Yeah, I'm doing great. Just... Raging and stressing at this crazy video game. Oh, it's a berserker. Okay. Oh, crap. Another guy who marks. Alright. So you mark me and then shoot me before I can do anything. Fuck you, game. That is stupid. Speed of thought. Hi. <sighs> oh, I can't do my... Uh... Okay. Well, I can't do that, but... God damn it, man. This game sucks. Uh, this game sucks. All right, I need to be able to push this guy back. Or pull guys in front. Okay. Um, guess minus accuracy. Why didn't that pull him? This guy has still gotten to do nothing, and he's about to die. This is this is why I, I was saying earlier that I'm thinking about stopping playing this game. Because there's, there's bullshit like, like this that happens... Basically every fight. I'm just trying to soften up these guys and I'm getting wrecked. If I do the thing where I move the debuff, um, maybe he survives. Maybe. Maybe he gets to do one thing. Okay, he gets to go now. Block and ward, I don't know that this saves him. One single crit kills him now. Alright, uh, a bunch of stress on these guys, or do I try to focus down somebody with damage? I think this guy's just going to kill all of my minions. I think I want to try to focus down some musketeers here, maybe. Well, they sure didn't miss any attacks. Yeah, screw you, dude. We have block. All right, what can we do here? All right, I guess I keep trying to focus down somebody. And redirect. 50% chance. God damn it. 
Let's, you talk about bullshit combos. I'm trying to get bullshit combos for my group, but they just have bullshit combos for every single team we fight against. It's insane. Have a little tingle up your spine. Okay, so if I... Okay, I can't remove that guy's mark, so... Can I maybe hit somebody with an attack? Hey, we hit somebody. It's a miracle. Double crit. Cool. Double freaking crit. Well, you're dead, aren't you? No, you're doing your stance where you do shit tons of damage. All right. no way to move that guy so we are both your ward might protect you you okay you we both have ward for his aoe okay so we're gonna stack a bunch of traps on this so that we can do hopefully just a crap ton of damage so you have two two things two wards so let's set some guys on fire Okay. Using up my wards there. Okay, block worked. We are Legion. Yeah, we're a Legion of guys about to die, is what we are. Okay. Using up all my mana. Am I co okay with that? Okay, 18 to 20. So we need to do about four damage to you to guarantee you'll die. Do I have an AoE? Just used my AoE. You should be able to kill him. So let's do this. All right, he probably kills one of these two. Oh, he hasn't yet. Okay. Pull you forward. That'll kill you. Ah, no. It won't because you're at one health and that's a percentage thing. Yeah, all right, there's one guy down. I probably should have done that guy's ward thing. Oh, God, it stunned him. All right, do I try to run now to keep this guy alive? Done pretty well. Eighteen to twenty. So if I do this, I'll die. Right? Oh, did it get absorbed by your armor? God damn it. Okay. All right, you're about to attack. All right, I guess we do this and try to stay alive. Well, the, the reason I got the zombie is because he has an ability that gives him blocks and wards, which are things that block an attack if they don't crit. So that's the reason he's alive. Okay, so I'm going to turn on Tactical Retreat. And I'm going to do this. We should kill him when it's his turn. As Beautiful. As you were in life, now we try you to run. Be worth something in death. Can't do anything if I'm crit. And they both got stunned. So skip turn means they don't get to run away. <laughs> All right, please, please let me run. All right, we got out. Death All right, we got out with the two characters I care about. For now. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have one. Uh, I have time to try to finish this fight. All right, there's two dudes. So, put those guys in there. You are higher health, so we'll do that. Okay, so we need to... 
We need to leave the musketeer alive. We have to kill the musketeer last if we want to recover. We have to do that. So uh, that is what we're going to try to do. Um, I could put, I could make somebody to uh, be leveling up a little bit here. So maybe an extra bone golem. Do I do that? Do I use up some skulls and bones for that? No, let's do an extra. I have one of extra of each of those guys. Maybe an extra zombie to replace the one we just lost. Armor. Weapon. They will be expecting cannon fodder, but I will give them cannons instead. <laughs> All right, so we have to kill the big giant dude so he doesn't do a bunch of lightning damage, and then we can hopefully recover against the musket guy. Seems much more convoluted than DD, like they tried to one-up it, but instead made it too much. Uh, yeah, I've heard a couple people say that. I don't, I, I, I think this game is, Speed of thought. you could maybe say that it's got too much going on, but I, I think it's, I enjoy it. What I don't like is the whole ward mechanic with crits bypassing and stuff. It's pretty, pretty frustrating. Some of that stuff that's going on. It's actually in luck. Okay, so let's get our blocks up. Don't expect cannonballs to be chucked at them, but instead the actual cannons will be chucked at them. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Yes. Nobody expects that. Alright, so all he can do is debuff our accuracy, which does kind of suck. I need, I need fury enough to do my percent damage thing on him. Alright, we already debuffed you. Let's go ahead and debuff you. Okay, now we just need to heal a bunch here. Get rid of that guy's block. Beautiful. You can get in your stance. There it is. So now I need to knock you back. Beautiful. And that's why we wanted to keep both of these guys alive and kill this guy first so that we can knock him out of his stance. Knock him out of his stance over and over as we heal. This is all about recovery here. Okay. I don't know if this guy even can attack from the front, which would be perfect for us. So healing and mana. I'd say not only does this game seem more complex than DD, more damning, is that it feels like it doesn't get a lot more depth out of its additional complexity. Well, yeah, but saying that about a game that's not completed, I think is a little disingenuous, honestly. Like, this game isn't as deep, you know, but it also isn't as finished. So I feel like giving too much criticism to this game when they still have two more levels to add. Okay, you are able to attack. Um, I feel like it's a little unfair to the game. Alright, let's start trying to kill this guy here. Nice. Good damage there. Um... Isn't what you said, though? Well, you are making criticisms about the game that's not completed. You're saying there's something damning about a game that is not a completed game. You didn't know it was still a work in progress? Yeah. This game has... Um, they're going to add two more levels to it. You can see on the map. I'll show you once we get back on the map before we end the, end the run. Um, and... Nice. Um, I don't know if they're going to add more characters or what. I will say it doesn't seem like they work. Uh, do um, updates this game nearly as often as like Slay the Spire, but I've never seen an early access game that updates as quickly as Slay the Spire, so I don't feel like that's too much of a 
you know, too much a bad thing to say about the game. Words on the internet cannot be undone. This is true. <laughs> right, continue to heal. Gain mana. Yes, debuff me. Please. Please, not my accuracy. Whatever shall I do? Okay. Please don't crit him and kill him. Cool. Alright, get more mana. Alright, good. There's his block. Hey, what's up, Cruel Angel? How you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. It's good to see ya. Alright, we're almost full health. I think that's uh, good enough to call it here. Let's go ahead and do it. 37 mana is not terrible. And I'm actually fine if we miss, because that gives us more chances to get mana with him. He'll get an attack. So if he doesn't, like, trip my mummy and kill him or something. Oh, crap. Uh, spend three mana to get... Yeah. Strength through pain. To get 12, yes. What is that multi-skull thing? These guys are called... Um, what are they called? Bone golems. We just unlocked them today, actually. And they are like the best tank in the game, as far as we can tell. There we go. They have a really the cool ability where they give guard or block to uh, your your friends, and they can do that to each other while they heal. It's pretty insane. They look mean. They are mean, which is good because they're on my team. Mean green fight machine. Alrighty, so let me show you. We uh, in in the game so far are the mines, the dwarf tunnels, and the mercenary barracks. After you beat the boss in the mercenary barracks, you basically have beat the the game on whatever difficulty you play in this early access. They're going to add something and something. You're like kind of working your way back up. So I'm guessing it's going to be like a, I don't know, this will be the throne room and this will be like main castle level and throne room or something. But um, I do have to end there because I do have a hurtle tonight. But uh, I, I, I probably, what I'll probably say is I'll finish this run and that might be the last Eratus I play until uh, more stuff is released because it's uh, the higher the difficulty, the more frustrating it's getting. Let me uh, upgrade my mummy real quick. Um, let's see here. 32 to 40, 32 to 40, two stress for each point of negative luck. Extends all debuffs by two turns. I mean, sure. Get back to back. You're saying that the additional complexity it adds does not seem to add as much to the depth as the already fairly complex framework it has borrowed from the DD does. Wow, that was a very complicated sentence. Um, I guess so. But what I will say, Cthulhu, is there's a lot of things that are different in this game that differentiate it from Darkest Dungeon. Like, some of the more complex things, like... I think my favorite thing of this game... Uh, that's different than Darkest Dungeon is the way you add more minions to your roster. And getting parts from your enemies and then building minions is a much more consistent way to rebuild your uh, your roster after it gets wrecked. Which dark, One of the biggest frustrations for me on Darkest Dungeon is when you lose a character and you want to get a replacement for that, leveling it up takes forever and finding the exact one at the recruitment stage is a crapshoot if you get the right one so um but yeah i guess there could be an argument that it's too complex which is i think what you're saying it's too complex for what it's adding so um but uh i've definitely enjoyed the eratus um i like i said i'll probably play it one more time and if i die i might be done with it for for then and go on to a new game but i think that is going to do it for me i've been streaming for that's about six hours there and I do have um, rehearsal tonight, so we're only talking about the ratio of depth to complexity. Or put another way, how worth it the additional buy-in required to understand the added complexity is. Ratio of depth to complexity. I am having a hard time differentiating what those two words even mean when it comes to video game descriptions. Like, what's the difference between depth 
and complexity. What is depth in a video game? I feel like I would need definitions of both those things. Complexity, I can kind of get. There's lots of different things and lots of different mechanics that you have to understand and put together. How is that different than depth? How does how does depth differentiate from complexity? I don't know if there's a clear definition of both of those. Maybe you do have a clear definition that I don't know. Um, let's see what our next fight is before uh, before we head out. We're actually going to get a fight with no elites, which is kind of amazing. So uh, we cover we recovered pretty well. You all are healed, so I can put you in the gain experience place here. Is there anybody else hurting? I can I should put in there. Uh, there's a spider lady, right? Probably be more likely to use the you than a skeleton, maybe. Minecraft is not complex, but has lots of depth. Factory is very complex, but not that deep. Maybe. Maybe. I feel Factorio is more complex than Minecraft. Oh, wait, that's what you said. But but uh, Factorio is not very deep. I don't know. I guess I need better descriptions. But anyway, that is that is all my time. I am going to head out. So, again, thank you all so much for watching. If anybody in the stream, please hit the follow. Hope you're enjoying the Uratus. Tomorrow we're going to play some Dicey Dungeons. Thursday we'll play some uh, uh, FTL. And then uh, we'll, we'll do our lovely Space Engineers on Friday. Uh, complexity as in how much mental effort it takes to play competently. Depth as in how much room for interesting play that complexity provides. All right. I might be too tired after six hours of streaming to understand the difference between there. So I am going to call it there. So again, I can never thank y'all enough for uh, the bits, the follows, the subs, all the wonderful stuff y'all do to support the stream. I am going to run a last minute worth of ads as, uh, as we end. So if you want to watch the support stream, you're welcome to. Otherwise, I will see y'all next time. Have a great night. Peace out, my friends. We will see you next time. And uh, happy gaming. Y'all rock. Enjoy these ads as we head out. Later, my friends.